And then according to experience to construct the temple, uh, the King Surya Varman II can, uh, can build this large-scale temple on Kovod in 12th century, surrounded by moat about 200 meters. Yeah. So this showing about the barrier, the third gallery of the barrier around Angkor Wat Temple complex. So the barrier leaf is about 700 meter long. It I think it's the longest barrier really. So this barrier leaf depicts about the uh, historical event and. This barley about the uh, heaven and hell, churning of the sea of meal, and Ramayana, no, Ramayana here, and Mahaparata. And this two was not curved yet in the 12th century, but it was curved later in 16th century. So on the south gallery, this is the king, uh, royal audience, a uh, meeting on the uh, Phnom Sivabot, Sivabot mountain before going to the war. So this is the king, Rai mounted on an elephant with many umbrella. And interestingly, he led uh, 18 general. This is the Khmer general named Sri Jaya Singhavaraman Nom Pulvo. That means uh, he led the Lvo army. Lvo is now in uh, Luburi in Thailand. And also a general army of Siam Kok. That means uh, the Siam people who live somewhere around there, maybe somewhere around Luburi. So they have different costume between uh, people. So King Surya Varman II from 1113 to 50, he reunited kingdom and began the war with Champa and Dai Viet, Dai Viet is uh, Vietnam, for controlling of the East Coast and establishment the trade with China. He led uh, 20,000 men against Dai Viet in 1128, invaded Champa in 1145, he disappeared in 1150 during the Dai Viet campaign. He built many rest houses along the East Road for conquering Champa and Dai Viet in the East. After <coughs> that, Cambodia have the conflict, international conflict. So that the Cham start to attack Cambodia and invade it from 1177 to 1181. And after that, the King Jai Varaman VII liberate the kingdom from Champa in 1181 and control Champa until approximately 1220. So he construct many rest houses along the west road. He built 121 rest houses, 102 hospitals, and road for serving public. So this is the Angkor area, Lubbury, Pimai, Champa, and Dai Viet at the time called Nghe An. In 13th century, after liberation the kingdom from Champa, so the King Jai Varaman VII built the city called Angkor Thom, three kilometers by three kilometers, and he constructed a Bajuan temple in the middle of this, and the royal palace located somewhere around here. And there are five gates, similar structure like this. And this is Uncle Wan and Phnom Bakai. So the Bayon Temple is the Buddhist temple at that time. So uh, how this Buddha called uh, Jaya Buddha Mahanath. 
and by John Barilly depict about the daily life of the people in that time. This is the market. This is the Chinese people enjoy on the boat. So this is the temple constructed by this king, Chai Varaman servant. And after that, in at the end of 13th century, their, their reaction of Hinduism against Buddhism. So uh, some uh, Buddha image on the temple were cut off, sometimes changed to uh, hermit, from Buddha to hermit, sometimes changed to Aptara, sometimes cut the head to make a linga. Yeah. So this is the changing from Hindu and Mahayana Buddhism to Theravada Buddhism. Actually, Theravada Buddhism it spread to uh, Myanmar, Thailand, Laos, Cambodia from approximately 13th century. And then Cambodia may receive by that time. According to the Chinese envoy, Yu Takwan, who came to Angkor in 1296-97, he said that he found three groups of religion. So the Buddhist monk already there, and there are some uh, bandit probably he mentioned to the Hindu still practice only in the royal palace. And interestingly, he thought is he mentioned about the Taoist, Taoist, maybe Chinese Taoist. So, when the religion changed from Hindu or Theravada or Mahayana Buddhism to Theravada Buddhism, the idea, the construction, all changed. So there are no more big temple like. Before, so only simple Buddhist terra like this were constructed, especially the stone basement terra, and then the wood was constructed on the top. For example, like this, this is the terrace, and then the wooden structure was made on top. This, this is the, the way of Theravada Buddhism chain and the structure of monument also chain. So as the religion changed, so the king is not more powerful like before because of Theravada is thinking more moral, not consider king as the god as before. So in 1431, Ayutthaya invaded Angkor and stay in Angkor about 15 years, according to Professor Michael Vickery. A king Punyajat forced Ayutthian back, but he did not stay in Angkor anymore. He moved to the south, moved to Phnom Penh. Ayutthaya was still Khmer until the invasion by Myanmar in 1569. The Thai ruler come from Sukhothai, who held Myanmar, began to control Ayutthaya by that time. So there are something changed like uh, the, the Hindu temple was changed to reclining Buddha. This is very large reclining Buddha on the back side of the Hindu temple, Bapun temple. This is the reclining Buddha, you can see the face, and about 80 meters long. And also, in Angkor Wat, originally a Hindu temple, but in the 16th century, there, there are many uh, Khmer inscription and other foreign inscription, especially the Buddha image were brought to uh, the gallery called uh, Thousand Buddha Gallery. Yeah, this is the... I think this time Uncle Wat became a Theravada Buddhism center for 
Cambodia and four Southeast Asian pilgrims come to pray. As you can see, uh, more than 40 Cambodian inscription, uh, Thai inscription, Burmese inscription, and Chinese inscription, under Burmese inscription, and this is Japanese inscription. And uh, the first Angkor Wat map drawn by the Japanese in 17th century. Actually, the Japanese confused that, uh, I don't know if confused or not, they write this is the Chetapon temple. But actually, Chetapon temple is in India, it's not in Cambodia. In 19th century, sorry, Uncle Wat, you can see many <laughs> uh, bush tree, but still people live inside Uncle Wat temple complex. It's not like the friend said that Uncle Wat were found in the forest without people live. It's not really true. Because uh, in in uh, 16th century, 16th century, the Portuguese, uh, no, 17th century, or 16th, 16th century, the Portuguese already come to Uncle Wat. 17 Japanese come and then later English come so Uncle Wat still has people live there it's not abandoned so <clears throat> after Cambodia and the friend uh, colonial from 1863 they start to do research and restore some temple in Angkor area. The first temple restored by the friend during the 1930 is Bantiai Thray. They use the technique anastylosis. This technique was already applied in Burubadu by the Dutchman in early 20th century. So after that Cambodia have war between 1970 to 1990 and then the negotiation for peace and the nomination of world heritage come at the same time. So <clears throat> in 1992, Angkor area was listed as the world heritage. World Heritage in danger because at that time there are no conservation work in Angkor and no Cambodian uh, uh, specially who work there. So after that, uh, the Cambodian King Norodom Sihanouk appealed to international hell to inscribe Angkor as the World Heritage. So the UNESCO committee decide to nominate as the World Heritage in danger and give three years for the Cambodian government to complete the necessary document. And then 1995, it was listed as the World Heritage after completing some document. So now there are 36 project from 20 countries working at Angkor. I think it is the largest international restoration project in the world. So those are international teams that do some work in Angkor. We have a USA team. I go quickly because uh, it's not the main this is the World Morning Fund team from U.S. to restore the uh, roof of the gallery. FAO, Eco France, Extreme Orient team, do conservation work, Japanese team. Yes, Japanese team. Actually, there are six Japanese team conserve and research in Angkor. Yeah, they found uh, Buddha and Bill. A museum to have those Buddha from Bhante Kadai. Some team excavate the Buddhist Tara 
late uncle period and the killing side. This is the Sophia team that restore the causeway, half causeway of Uncle Wat. Uh, Italia team to restore the embankment of Uncle Wat and uh, Maybon Temple, or Pry Rook Temple, sorry. This is the German German team conserve the Braco and Uncle Wat Temple. The Chinese government team for safeguarding Uncle restore uh, Chao Sai Tevara Temple and now Takayu Temple. And Switzerland team conserve the Bantia Sri Temple. Indian team restore Uncle Wat and Taprom Temple. This is the huge work before restoration and after restoration. This is an uh, Indonesian team from 1995 to 1999, long time ago. And Hungarian team and Czech team to help to restore some broken artifacts from Pimenaka in Angkotong. And this is the other international joint research project. So Singapore team is the last now, number 12. So now I finish the Uncle Empire, my empire. So I'm going to talk about the road network that connected from Uncle to other provinces. So how to control over large area? So it must have something to connect between the capital to those area. So this is the our team from Aptara that joined this uh, work in Sokrati, Me, Heng Tan, Kiu Chan, Sun Tech, and Kim Sam Nang, Kia This is the This is the small uh, bridge that we excavated. So now I would like to introduce the project called uh, Living Uncle Road Project, a collaboration work between Apsara Authority, Jula, Jula Chom Klau Royal Military Academy, Fine Art Department, uh, Prince Songkla University, and Silapakon University to study about the ancient road from Angkor to Pimai, about 245 kilometers. So lab project, lab is very good food, I think Thai <laughs> colleagues <laughs> like this. Research of ancient infrastructure along the road from Angkor capital to Pimai, architecture, archaeology, landscape feature, and study the life of people along the road, ethnography, oral history. So before he study the, the road, we have some data source like the inscription in the, from the Prom Temple in late 12th century. It said that uh, 102 hospital or Aroksala were built in city in various provinces. So this is the inscription mentioned there. This is the structure of hospital. So then, after that, the Prakhan inscription in translated by Zoksede in 1941, saying that rest houses were built along the road that link between the capital and provincial city. And then another interesting uh, inscription, Sdokko Thong Temple, is, uh, the temple constructed in 11th century. This uh, temple this inscription mentioned about also the King Jai Varaman II who reigned on Kule Mountain. So also mentioned about the rest house and water, water structure were built along the road for the convenience of traveler. And then the inscription of the Peng Don Ong, 11th century also 
delimiting land, digging water reservoir, building up road, constructing bridges, for meriting to be as a royal foundation. Then the Chinese also record about this. Chu Takwan in late 13th century, he said that along the Grand Road, there are relay stations which they call Samna. Samna means the place we take a rest. So we have data source of old map that uh, drawn by Luine de la Zongchea, the friend from Uncle to Pimai. And then he listed many sites, so we follow his also. So we also have data source from the Barreli of Bayuan Temple, you can see a road, yeah. So this is the Barreli depicting about people travel along the road. So, so people cooking something to eat and then they rest, take a rest. People sleep on the luggage and people chat, put the luggage up and then they continue travel by going more. So we have the 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 road, Royal Road Vestige. We have a uh, Thomas Alam in the rest house that located close to the road. We have the existing the ancient road that still used until today. So this is uh, showing about the road because the bridge. So our research methodology we are limited a buffer zone two kilometers both sides of the ancient road. And then we divide it into four phase. Phase one, two, three, four. Yeah. Sorry, this is a research activity, the Khmer, it become like that. So research activity we interview with the local people, with man, then we do excavation, we uh, discuss with the old people in the village about the oral history. We do excavation, we confirm the site and uh, geo uh, archaeology. <laughs> so sometimes we uh, the walk in the water like this, rain, full day, so I have to walk in the water like this, very wet. And sometimes we dry in the water, so we have to work very hard for tying this road. So what we find? Finding from the field research, a royal road traces and its associated structure such as a stone brick, water structure, a chapel or red house called uh, Thamasala, a passage through Dong Reit, this is the passage through Dong Reit, to climb up from 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 the lower to upper mountain, a hospital, Aruksala, ancient industry, especially the iron smelting site and ceramic kiln, and archaeological mapping on agglomeration. So this is the trace of ancient road from Anko Pimai that we did survey. And this is other road, yeah, from Angkor to other places. So we can know the distance from Angkor to other places, especially from Angkor to Pimai, about 245 kilometers. And the traces of the road, actually the road is not really straight like that, sometimes it go like the, yeah, this. And this is the collective knowledge regarding the Royal Road when we have an oral talk to the local people. The ancient road is called Priak Kun Long. Priak Kun Long by local people. Priak Kun Long literally means Royal Road, which at first found in the inscription. K175 Kukrisay style dead in 10th century. So the evidence of the inscription mentioned about road is 10th century. So the term 
Wanthanol in modern Poonthanol. Literally, mount up or pile up the road. And the term Sang Swan, the modern word, is a Sang Spin. Literally means constructing the brick. This term was found in inscription 11th century. So we found uh, 32 brick, stone brick. 20 brick found in Siem Reap province, 12 brick found in Udom in Chai province, and none were found in Thailand because Thailand is high, highland, not flat area like this. Yeah, this is the brick. Still you until today. So, yeah, this is the longest bridge, 100, no, not this is the longest bridge. The longest bridge is 150 by 15 meters, 28 axis. The shortest bridge is 7.5 by 6 meters, 3 axis. Yeah, this is the shortest bridge. So, about water structure, we found 380 water structure along the road. So this is uh, still used today. Yeah, how the water structure look like along the road. Uh, water structure, there are six types of water structure, six different types called Tlokku and Long in Khmer, Sra, Kanchan, Tapiang, Chao, Bang, Santok, Khna, Khnai, Roha, Rolom, Labang, Tunle, and Barai is the biggest. So it tie different, define different form, size, structure, and origin. Because we ask the people, and people tell us about those words. Actually, we do not know the name too, because uh, some is old. So all, 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 almost all derive from ancient name found in the very inscription. So this is the inscription. I do not go too in detail. There are 17 rest house or Thomasala uh, engraved in uh, Prakthan inscription. So we found all those 17 in rest house, 8 in Cambodian and Cambodian side and 9 in Thai. So this is the structure of rest house. And this is the structure, uh, the location of rest houses from Ongo to Pimai. So from Angko to Pimai, this is the Dongrek uh, mountain, about uh, 7,800 meter high. So the, the we found uh, the passage, two passages through Dongrek. One is called Oxcat, or called uh, Oxcat passage, called uh, Plau Prahok. That means the 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 passage for transporting the prahok prahok mean uh, fish uh, chief <laughs> and uh, the predestined distant passage called a plurum kalsok this road yeah it kind of stair it about one thousand meter by uh, one eleven meter and there are four break point to climb up this so this is the hospital. A chapel, we found eight hospital chapel along the road. There are four in from Angkor to Dong Rai and four from Angkor to Phi Mai. So found four in Cambodia, four in Thailand now. So the average between uh, rest house uh, hospital is 40 kilometers. So this is the uh, picture of the hospital structure. There are there, there actually there are at least one pond in the northeast corner and then a chapel in the uh, middle and the surrounding wall and uh, library. So it looks like that. This is the hospital chapel. Uh, wall, library and chapel and uh, pond. Yeah, this is the real. So this is the structure of the hospital. And we found that many, the same structure like in uh, Thailand. 
Besides all that, we also found the, the indus ancient industry like ceramic kiln site, more than 30 sites, and metallic production site, also 100 sites. So this is the excavation conducted by uh, Thai Fine Art Department to find the furnaces for uh, smelting iron in this area in uh, Buridam called uh, Phnom Kaudin Thai. Yeah, we found also iron smelting site in the uh, Cambodian site in the forest. So this is the two year of the furnish and slag, many slag. So this is the map showing about the the iron sediment, iron smelting site and metallic site along the road and other places in Cambodia. And ceramic production site we also found along the road. Brown glaze ceramic like that. And we found 87 temple from Angkor to Dong Rai, 68 brick temple, 13 sandstone temple, and 6 Latarai temple. So this is uh, how the temple example look like in the forest. Sometimes it's clear, sometimes, yeah. So for the cultural activity, we also found, uh, uh, how to say this, ordination, become a Buddhist monk. Yeah. yeah, along the road, still practice along the road. And this is also look similar activity. So we also conduct an excavation of a, a road, the cut the section of the road, you can see the different layer of the soil. And then we found that the the road is about thirty meter wide, and about uh, seven or eight meter both sides, probably the water canal along the road. So we after serving the uh, hospital, we can make for e-learning how the hospital chapel look like and how the brick look like and then we make it in the development of the internet for geospatial data server in Google Earth you can see from what the side from Angkor to Pimai there are a lot from Angkor but from Pimai there are less than <laughs> Yeah. So you can see our website in this lab, CMR AT ACTA, to see all the work. And for the critical and key point, the evolution of road and communication network expanded as the command Polity grew in power, prosperity, strength, and size during the Angkor period. More of the inscriptional architectural landscape and material culture is, for example, ceramic, evident we find or identify is Angkorian, not Funan or earlier. Some architecture, however, consists of pre-Angkorian brick structure. However, other than water canal and uh, landscape alteration from the Funan period, we do not know yet if either sophisticated network were in play and expanded upon except the occasional pre-Angkorian evidence. The road network significantly uh, signify advanced design, planning, engineering, organization or labor, concern of traveler, well-being, ability to move goods, people, 
and military in all season, etc. This suggests complete, well organized socio, political, economic, and sufficiently wealthy condition over a vast geographical network. Coordination with other wealthy power holders in different regions may have been a possibility such as exemplified by one day a future research question. So this is the other picture about the international conference in CTEP in Thailand in last August. And we change from lab, very sorry, very delicious food, to uh, CRMA. <laughs> so this is a cultural relationship study in mainland Southeast Asia. So the lab change and the, this is the collaboration continue work by Cambodian, Thai, Vietnamese, Lao, Burmese, UK and Japanese as a teamwork. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Terry, for a wonderful and uh, very, very colorful um, talk on the research. So I'd like to open the, um, the floor now for questions, if anybody has any questions um, for um, Terry. Yes, please. 